What's going on YouTube? This is Ladizzi. I'm coming at you guys today with another video. And I know I've been gone for maybe about a month or maybe less than a month. I'm not sure. But school and work has just been kicking my butt. But I am back today. And today's video is going to be my top five favorite beaters in my collection. And before we get into the video, I just wanted to say thank you to everybody that's been using my hashtag DSneaks on Instagram. Show me all your dope pictures. I'm almost about, or I almost hit about a thousand tags on Instagram so if you've been using my hashtag thank you and if you're not using my hashtag use that hashtag these sneaks to show me all your dope shoes and without further ado let's go ahead and get right into this top five all right so coming in at number five is the black and white Roshi run this is just the original Roshi run none of the tech fleece none of that stuff just the original black and white colorway um, probably one of the most known colorways or the most worn colorways out there but it's just a really simple and clean shoes when they are clean these are actually really beat I mean look at that heel drag it's crazy I wear that I wear these all the time this is a shoe that uh, when I went to school up in Oregon I used to wear these almost every day and it used to be wet rainy all of that and I did not care I would just wear this shoe this shoe is just so comfortable for me um, until I got this heel drag and then I started slipping so I don't wear these that much in the rain anymore I learned from my mistakes but this shoe right here has gone through hell and back this shoe has just, man, been on my feet for like, so many times, it's crazy. Um, I don't really wear them that much anymore. I actually wear these to the beach pretty much. That's all I, that I wear these for. But I do have another pair. Um, they're still dead stock so that whenever I do end up just getting rid of these, I'll bring out my new pair because they are clean still. It's still a clean colorway and it's still a clean shoe. And I know that they're coming out with new technologies on the Roshi Run, but I think that this is the black and white colorway is probably the best colorway and the original one is probably the best looking one. So there you guys go, the black and white Roshi Run. All right, so coming in at number four, I have the Adidas SL Loop in this olive white and red and black colorway. I picked these up for a super steal at the Adidas tent sale out here in Vegas. If you don't know what the Adidas tent sale is, it's basically just a huge tent just full of Adidas stuff, just pretty much an outlet kind of a sale. And I actually picked these up for, I think, less than $10. So that was just a crazy huge deal for me. And because I picked them up for so cheap, I just decided to use them as beaters. They do really look nice on feet. Otherwise, you don't have to use them as beaters. But it is a nice running uh, shoe, comfortable running shoe. I just picked it up in this olive colorway. They had this olive colorway and a um, like a gray and a yellow colorway. But I really like this one a lot better. They actually came with red laces as well, but I switched them out into this uh, black wax lace because they look better to me with the black laces because there's not really much red on the shoe. So I went on ahead and threw the black wax laces in them. Just the, it's a really clean shoe overall. I can actually clean these up and, I, and they could not be beaters for me, but I do wear them as beaters, so I don't care. I wear these all the time. I wear them in the rain. I wear them all over the place or when I'm just going to the store or something I just throw these on it's just a really comfortable shoe to just go out and do whatever and so there you guys go number four is the SL loop all right so now we're getting into the top three and I gotta say that my top three shoes were probably hard to put in order from my my favorite to the least favorite but I think I came to a consensus and getting into number three we have the Air Jordan 11 Space Jam and this is just one of those shoes that just looks good uh, when it's clean or when it's beat it's just like one of those um, it's like a classic silhouette kind of a shoe like if you wear an Air Jordan 1 it looks good beat or clean for the most part like a Chicago 1 brand 1 those look good beat or when they're clean this is just another one of those shoes to me it looks good when it's beat or clean this is actually probably like my fourth pair I beat every pair that I've had so far because they're just um, it's just a shoe that you could pretty much almost match with anything it's just a black and white colorway of the Air Jordan 11 and I feel like black and white pretty much matches with anything so there you guys go Space Jam 11 you guys already know this is one of the most sought after colorways of the Air Jordan 11 but this right here is one of my beaters and I'm proud to say that it is one of my beaters because a lot of people a lot of people cherish this shoe but nonetheless they are shoes so I'm gonna beat these once again until the bottom turns extremely yellow. So there you guys go with the number three shoe, Space Jam 11. All right, so coming in at number two, we have the Nike SB in the Uncle colorway. And if you guys know about this shoe, you guys know that this is one of the most sought after Nike SBs out there right now. 
And I'm glad that these are my beaters. I actually picked them up from one of my good friends. He uh, sold them to me probably at about a eight out of 10 condition. And my plan once I got these were just to beat these up. I feel like Nike SBs are meant to be beat. So this shoe right here was definitely a great pickup for me because I got them for an amazing price. And I just got them with the intention of beating them up. I wouldn't have picked them up for around six or $700 just to beat them up. Like I would try to take care of that shoe, but because I got it for so good of a price, I went on ahead and said, yo, I'm gonna beat these up. Um, one of my favorite models is heaters are the best beaters. And this is definitely one of those shoes that I can say is a heater. And that is one of the best beaters in my collection. Um, this man, I don't know. This is probably tied with the number one or I mean, man, I'm not even sure. But this shoe right here is just one of those shoes that I really came up on and am able to beat and I'm happy that I'm able to beat them because I'm not really tripping because I didn't get them for an extreme price. One of my homies hooked me up. So shout out to you. You know who you are if you're watching this video. So there you guys go. Number two, the Uncle SB. And coming in number one, my all time favorite beater is the Air Jordan Black Cement 3. And you guys already know that this is one of those shoes, once again, that you can pretty much beat up and it'll still look good. This shoe right here, classic silhouette, classic colorway, you already know the Black Cement 3, pretty much matches with anything. I could throw these on with anything in my closet and it will look good. And I can just beat these up, man. These are, actually, they don't even look that bad. That's the crazy part. They just hold up so well. It's one of those shoes that don't really deform. Um, when you wear it, it doesn't really crease too much. You know what I'm saying? Like, look at that. That's is barely even creasing, and I wear these so many times. It's crazy. Um, the only real problem with these is like paint chipping. Like you can see around the shoe that it has the paint chipping that always comes with Air Jordan threes. It's really that's pretty much it. I mean, I could really clean these up, and they will be on point. I could repaint them, and they will look on point. But I like to beat these up. These are one of my favorite beaters. I could just literally throw these on with anything and it will match or it'll just be fine. You know what I'm saying? So this is one of those shoes once again that you could pretty much beat up or you can keep in really nice condition and it would look good either way. So there you guys go. My number one all time favorite beater, Black Cement 3s. All right, you guys, so that's gonna wrap up this video. Please make sure to leave comments below. Let me know what you think about my beaters or my top five beaters, I should say. And also, let me know if you share any common beaters with me. Let me know if you share the Black Cement 3 as a beater or a Nike SB. Just let me know in the comments below. And also, follow me on Instagram and Twitter. The links will be in the description below. And keep using that hashtag DSneaks. I'll leave it somewhere on the screen right now. Um, just keep using that hashtag and show me all your dope sneaker pictures. And I'll see you guys in my next video.